channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and you know, don't forget to drop a little comment on the way out. Today we're at the farmer's market and we are chilling. I wanted to do what I eat in a day and just be real with you guys. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me, um, and I'll insert before pictures here, I've been on keto for quite some time now, and what a way to start out the video. I just wanted to be real that, you know, these are the amazing, delicious things in life that I can't have right now because I'm trying to be skinny like my husband. So, <laughs> sometimes I gotta sacrifice, but when we get home, I'll show you what I'll eat and that's gonna be delicious. So we are on our way back to the car, but I wanted to show you guys how freaking cute this little train station is. I love it. All right, let's go home to eat. Look at that horse. for some breakfast burritos or tacos with the keto friendly um, tortillas that I'll show you in a second, but I'm gonna be using that. Um, these are only two net carbs. Per serving is two ounces, so I'm gonna be making this. I just have a pinch of salt going on in there. Me and my family like things kind of on the, you know, flavorful side. So we're going to add some red crushed chili flakes. My husband loves pepper. I'm not such a fan, so I made him in the middle. Or you could just cook them like this, but regardless, it's a good hearty breakfast. Um, and when I say breakfast, I've been fasting for 18 hours so far, so I do suggest doing intermittent fasting. Um, so your last meal can be like, you know, in the evening, anytime after like six or seven, and then, you know, however long you can fast. I'm um, doing 18 hours today, so it is now one o'clock in the afternoon and here I am having breakfast. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this breakfast and see how many calories I can create here because it's the carbs that we need to keep at 20. But the calories, I'm not worried. And I never added any oil to this because esto releases a lot of grasa. So why add more? This I'm going to add, and you can add your choice of shredded cheese. All right, you guys, excuse the hair. So don't forget you can make this comfortable for your home 
whether it's just you um, doing keto or doing breakfast on your own or um, my husband doesn't mind eating keto things and it's obviously healthier because um, he's not so yellow during the day with all that um, masa and flour and tacos and tortillas and rice and stuff but um, I already cut some tomatito I cut some avocado um, the breakfast sausage is done I have huevito and cheese on it but our family loves condiments so we are going to add some crema mexicana on the side I'm gonna add the tapatio because it doesn't taste the same without tapatio for me um, I'm gonna ask him if he wants some cebollita that I'll pick up for him and get our little keto tortillas these are the keto tortillas that we like to use and they are so yummy they have spinach flavor they have wheat um, and they're only four net carbs per tortilla and I usually only like get one so let's get breakfast Here is our breakfast so I will go ahead and post all of the net carbs calories and stuff for you guys to see but this was just half a tomatillo um, and this is one half and then this is a quarter here is jalapenos you know gotta have the jalapenos and these are only one gram of carbs for a fourth cup which I won't even consume that much I just want a little bit we have crema mexicana and again, you guys have a lot of apps that can help you where you just scan the barcode and it'll tell you, you know, how many grams of carbs and stuff. So, bon appetit. I put my huevito. I love aguacate with limon and sal. So it's up to you. Some people just like it plain. I'll put a little piece, some little tomatito. I'll put some tapatio and bon appetit mm. he's so spoiled hey you guys so it is later on in the day and i'm not too hungry but I really have been wanting to try this keto-friendly bread that I found at Aldi's. Um, it is hmm, zero net carbs. So I love it because it literally says zero guilt. So I'm going to have two pieces of that with um, two tablespoons of hummus and maybe I'll add some tomato, but that's pretty much what I'm craving. So, let's make that. I don't know why, but I've always loved tomatoes so, so, so much. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut some thin slices. And yeah, that's all I'm having, you guys, and that will hold me over aside from just drinking tons of water. Um, but that pretty much wraps my video here. I will do um, another video for you guys when I'm not fasting so you guys could see more meal options. But if you did enjoy watching this video, this has been working for me. I have been doing keto for over a year now. And yes, I've had my ups and downs, but it's really nice to you know, share the journey with you guys because a lot of you guys are trying to start and it's nice to know that I can provide someone else 
you know, motivation and stuff. So hope you like this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up and bon appetit.